Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, let me get the stream up on this computer so I can see how we're looking. Okay. Hopefully we're all good and you can hear me and maybe hear a bit of the game. Would be lovely as well. Um, hopefully the stream isn't completely taken down because it's like licensed music or something. There was a, like a bit of a theme tune at the start, but I waited for that to kind of go. Um, Stephanie reacts. Hello. I played this and finished it. Yeah, I, I feel like it's two or three hours on average, depending on how much you put into it, I suppose. Um, side quests and stuff, I've heard. Um, so potentially we could do the whole thing in this stream. That would be nice, but we'll see. Either way, hello. This is uh, Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. This is a very spontaneous idea to stream this, but I thought I would. Um, it's a PC slash mobile game that came out a few weeks ago. Obviously set in the Doctor Who world. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like a follow-up to Blink from Series 3. Uh, a few of the actors are reprising their roles from the show, which is cool. Outside of that, I don't really know much of, of what to expect. Gameplay-wise, I don't know a damn thing. Um, I watched a trailer like when they first announced it, but nothing really since. Um, I know it's a couple of hours long. Um, so I guess we're going to dive in. Hopefully the stream's running okay. Um, let me know if you can hear me um, okay and you can hear the game a bit as well. Hopefully I'm a bit louder than the game. That would be ideal. Um, and yeah, I guess we can dive in in a minute. I'm just Oh god, hello chat. Lots of people. Uh, this is a game that needs more attention, some really good world building. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, hello, Rebecca. Oh, um, Sauron Baggins D. Thank you very much for that very kind donation. That's very generous of you. Um, and an excellent username. Uh, the game needs a new update later and a new story. Yeah, I suppose it is maybe depending on how things go, they could add to it, couldn't they? Which makes sense. Um, it's a love letter to Blink and the Angels. Awesome. Um, I have heard pretty good things about it, so... I'm excited to check it out, and I'm in a kind of a Doctor Who mood um, right now. I've been doing a lot of Doctor Who-y stuff recently. So I thought it would be fun to check this out and see how we go with it. Um, obviously, I think the concept of the game is like you find a phone and you're like playing it on a phone. Um, but you can also get it on PC, and I can capture games on a PC, and I don't know how to capture gameplay on my phone. So that's why I bought it on PC. Um, but yeah. Audio sounds good. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I saw your cameo video with James Masters, a little jealous. Oh, how cool was that video? James seems so cool. Um, yeah, hopefully one day I can thank him for it in person. That'd be lovely. Um, but hello everyone watching. And I guess we're just going to dive right into the game. I've been told a notepad is also potentially helpful. So I've got one just in case I need to write stuff down because my memory in a game like these is kind of like a sieve. So I may need to make notes at some point. Um, I've been introducing my American friends to Doctor Who. We watched Blink yesterday. You're welcome. What excellent timing. Um, I hope they all liked it. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm kind of nervous about this because I, I feel like it's going to be jump scares because it's Weeping Angel stuff. Um, and I'm famously bad with jump scares. But I guess we're going we're gonna to find out how this, how this goes together. Okay, right. I think we're all good. I've got the um, subtitles on, I believe, so that should also help. Oh, that was very loud. I might have to turn that down, but that's fine. Please enter your pattern to unlock. We already have a puzzle. I wonder if there is like a correct answer to this. I'm just going to say that. No. I feel like, are we supposed to fail this? I feel like we're supposed to fail this. Self-destruct? Well, this is a short game. Jesus. Bye again. Bye, everyone. Ah, Petronella Osgood. I'm sure this means something to people. Hello. Oh, 
<gasps> it's all good. Lawrence, at last. Oh, the way you've been avoiding my calls, anyone yeah. would think I was your mother. This isn't your mother, by the way. Well, unless there's been a horrendous mix-up with the time fracture. But I think... I think you're not Lawrence, which means Lawrence is still missing. <sighs> okay, I've not got long, so just listen. I have a funny feeling an old friend of mine made sure this phone fell into your hands, which means you're the right person for the job. The job being... Find Lawrence. I can't stress how important that is. Think yellow highlighter and, and circled in red several times. <laughs> yes, that important. Right. My friends call me Petronella. You can call me Osgood. I'm an investigator. Might be a Zygon. The odd, Might not be. The unexplained. Anything on Earth or even beyond. And I've only just realised what a massive remit that is. No wonder I need your help. You and me are going to sift through clues, codes, and face some terrifying enemies. Sound like fun? Look, I mean, not really. I've got to go. But I'll be in touch, because you and me, we've got a game. Well, um, good chatting with you. Thanks for taking my call. So Lawrence is the guy from Blink, um, the guy um, whose sister was taken by the angels, Sally's best friend, and then, yes. Lawrence seems to be missing in action. <laughs> I really don't want to help you. I wonder if that just ends the game. That'd be funny. Um, how can I help? I need to find Lawrence. You can help me by going through his phone. There may be clues in there as to where he's gone. Where do I start? Hang on, I may have something useful for you. I installed a scanning kit on the phone. It'll highlight any potential clues if it works. Let's give the kit a bit of a test drive. How do I do that? That's good. Let's start with getting a picture of Lawrence. He's bound to have one somewhere on his phone. Find a picture of Lawrence. Got it. Easy. Task one, easy. When you spot anything of interest, like his picture in this case, the scan button will turn yellow. Ah, good to know. Tap it to activate the scanner, then place your finger on the screen and drag it around to capture all the data till the progress bar fills up. If you hear a strange noise, you're doing it right, then you'll get a clue. Do send me any clues you find. I've added a handy tracker, uh, just in case you get stuck or unsure of what to do. To access it, tap the icon at the top left of the home screen. So now the first clue you need to find is that photo of Lawrence. Okay. Then we have our objectives at the top. Can you just turn off the phone? Look for a photo of Lawrence and scan it. Who is or could? You could just talk to her and find out. Well, I know who she is. I suppose me as the player does not know. Um, right. Home. I guess the gallery is a good place to start. You only have 20 photos. Is that true, Lawrence? Ah, Look at the kitty. Right. I definitely saw one of him there, didn't I? I think near the end there was one. Oh, look who it is. Scan that face. Aha. Photo of Lawrence, the original owner of the phone in your possession. Good. I'm a genius. I think I've got his picture. Excellent work. Since you've scanned the photo, could you send it to me? I can. Enjoy. Male approximately Lawrence's age. It's him, all right. Glad to hear it. Damn. Clearly more files, but they're corrupted. Excellent. Of course. Um, who are you again? Um, what do we do now? Take a look through the new files. See if we can find out more about Lawrence, what he's been doing recently. Might give us a clue as to where he's gone. Uh, what do you already know about him? Hmm. 
male, 40, he's worked in a shop for sold old books and weird DVDs, now owns said shop. Also runs a movie club. Why exactly are you looking for him? Tell me. What little I do know about Lawrence tells me that he could lead me to someone I've been looking for, someone rather important. Let's stay focused. Is this the doctor, do you think? Go through the entire phone. If you find anything interesting, scan it and take a look. Good luck. Okay. We have some Michiones then, don't we? So we've done those, done those. Take a peek at his emails and his chat history. Okay, good. Let's just see how chat is. Liam is the right man for this job. It's true. Uh, I have been watching Falcon Winter Soldier, yes. They loved it. They can't wait for Sai Spyro to come back. Can't bear to tell them she won't. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Yeah, she got a bit um, big in Hollywood and stuff, didn't she, after that? Right then. What should we do first? Um, probably emails. Oh, that's a strange email, isn't it? I'm guessing that's the corruption thing that Oscar was talking about. Damn you, Nightingale. I write regarding the recent renovations on my property. I understand that construction work can cause inconvenience to those around. For that, I apologise. That said, I must ask you to refrain from harassing me any further. What I do on my property is my business. I'm well within my rights to carry out whatever works I choose on my own home. If you do not desist, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Edward Flint. I should add, I do not appreciate your childish scare tactics. I do not believe for one solitary moment the outlandish tales you tell about my property. I see them for what they are. Poisonous poppycock, Mr Nightingale. Poisonous poppycock. Well, this guy seems nice. Um, is your property the house from Blink, by any chance? Hmm. I mean, that subject line is just a bit harsh, isn't it? 19th of January, 2021. So, yeah. Only a couple of months ago. Apparently, we can scan a clue. It's just the email. Argument with Flint and misunderstanding comes to a head. Right. Good. Um... Let's just send that to Osgood right away. See what she says to, about that. Typical neighbourhood tiff, outlandish tales. What has Lawrence been spreading about Flint's property? Do you think Flint would retaliate? Decent enough person, not unusual to have problems with your neighbours. So let's get this far, there must be something more. Quite possibly, I would say so. Um, oh no, I don't want to look at emails first. Henrik's department store, that's where Rose used to work. Excellent news, your order has been successfully delivered. You've earned the following store credit. Okay. What did you buy? He ordered something from Henrik's. Oh. Okay, so we need. I think we're going to need to... Um, find all of this, aren't we? Well, we know it's been delivered, but we're going to need to find the order ID, etc, etc, aren't we? So, let's go back. Right, so the order ID is there. Right, so this is why I have my notepad. You should try playing The Last of Us, it's a great game. I have played The Last of Us, it's very good. Uh, keep up the brilliant content. I've been watching a lot of your Buffy reactions lately and it's very enjoyable. Thank you very much. Um, you don't have to send the clues one at a time, by the way. You can do them one after the other if you wanted. Yeah, I, I figured that'd be the case, but I thought it, for progress reasons it would be good to just get it all out of the way. Otherwise, it's going to be loads and loads of me just reading text instead of going back and forth, which is probably a bit more interesting for a stream. Right, order ID is 574320. Status is ordered. Um, received on February 13th. I don't know if we need that or not. Okay. So, five, seven, four, three, two, oh, and we ordered it the 13th 
of February 2021. Oh. Oh, I put... Is that right? There we go. I forgot they did it. But I literally did that. That was the first thing I did and I still got it wrong later on. Okay. So, what did you order? Latex balloons, Red Rivers... Oh, lager, fair enough. Disco ball, Rose Gold birthday banner, and Silly String. Okay, so some of these are probably our pranks for the owner of the house, right? So, Lawrence's address, in case we need it, 71 Timber Street, Timber, and then let's scan this, so he had a party, it would seem, um, hello? Um. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was creepy. Oh, no, I didn't like that. Thank you, Serti. You know. Anyway, have some party supplies. Oh. Have you played Last of Us Part 2? I have, yes. Um, one puzzle that completely stumped me and the solution was sitting me straight in the face. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I feel like the car thing is the most useful thing, right? to think of the mess that Sage and Kay could have made. Yeah, I made a note of Timber Street. Might just swing by to make sure he's not been there lounging about all this while. That'd be hilarious. After all that, it's literally like, um, he was just at home, his phone was off, sorry. Okay, so, this is Amy Lennox, is it? So this is from him. To her. Ah, okay. Let's scroll down a bit first. So, we have Amy. Dear Lawrence, this is Amy Lennox here. Hope you remember me. I was a friend of your mum. How are you, my dear? I haven't seen you since you were a wee lad. It pains me to write this, but I had the most unsatisfactory experience at your establishment the other day, and I wanted to bring the matter to your attention. I was at your cafe for lunch, and my order was completely wrong. Now, I normally wouldn't kick up a fuss, but the young lady on duty that day was rather uppity and rude when I voiced my complaint. I understand it's hard to get good help these days, but you really must keep a close eye on your staff, my dear. Give an inch and they'll take a mile, I always say. I suppose if your parents were around, they could have um, given you this guidance, but Auntie Amy's here to help. Wishing you good health, Amy Lennox. Okay. Dear Mrs. Lennox, thank you for your email. Allow me to get over the events of the unfortunate day you chose to enter our shop. You ordered the chicken parmesan salad. When this was brought to you, you asked if there was meat in it, to which the reply was obviously yes. You then flew into a raging temper and informed us that you do not eat meat. Or well, you somehow managed to misunderstand the word chicken on the menu, our staff was kind enough to offer you a replacement meal. You responded by throwing your plate and cutting onto the floor. At this point, our staff had no choice but to escort you off our premises. Also, that uppity woman is my partner. Given your behaviour, Mrs. Len Mrs. Lennox, uh, be thankful that we're not pressing charges. Please not patronise us ever again. Um, Mum always did say you're a crazy old bat. Cheerio. Okay. Well, we haven't got anything there to say we can scan it, so I imagine that's just some... Uh, Little world building we got going on, right? So this is the Henrix thing. Just saying your package has been delivered. We knew that. Oh, Sally Sparrow. Okay, happy birthday, Kathy. Feels odd to say that again. I miss you, Kathy. I miss you so much. Oh, it's his sister. Oh, he's still messaging his sister. That's so sad. Oh my god. So much happy now, it's dredging up old memories. I wish we spoke more, especially after mum and dad passed. 
more than just me phoning you whenever I needed a place to stay. I know I can't change things, but oh god, she even replies. Uh, I just want to be your dumb brother again. You're always a smart one. I'd give anything to get back to that. Hello? This isn't your sister. I didn't mean to interrupt, but well, there's no easy way to say this. My name's Graham. <laughs> Bradley Walsh, uh, current owner of this number. Oh, okay, so they sold Kathy's number. Oh, hello. They sold uh, Kathy's number on. Sorry for your loss. You can keep sending messages if you want. I won't read them, promise. It's awfully generous of you, but it's all right. Probably could have said those things when I sh could anyway. I understand. Office still stands if you change your mind, though. I'll remember that. You have a good day. Sorry about interrupting you. Oh, Well, if that actually is like Graham O'Brien, and he's like, he understands grief because of grace, and he's like, you know, you know what, you do you. Oh, this is going to be um, quite something, isn't it? Hey, Sally, hope I caught you before your flight. Oh, this is 2017, so this is just years ago. I want to wish you good luck. You'll do great things in America, I know it. The world isn't ready for Sally Sparrow. I've got everything covered here, I promise. But don't forget us once you've got your big exciting life out there. Don't be dramatic, just moving across the pond. It's not the end of the world, but thank you. Um, promise to make you proud. Send a postcard to your peasants when I make it big. Okay, so I guess those two didn't work out and she moved away. You're bailing again, Larry. Sorry, work's in the way. Go ahead without me. You're our only healer. Plus Tom's a complete murder hobo for chaos. They play in D&D &D or something. We should kick him out of the group if he keeps that up. That's why we need our cleric. Infinite wisdom. Aim for session after Daz's party. Sure you're okay with planning. You want to make up for everything. Tell me if you need any help. I've got everything ready for Daz's birthday party. Okay, so that's why he ordered... Yeah, that's why he ordered all that stuff. You're the best. Oh, hello. There's some uh, cryptic stuff there. Hopefully, anyway, you never know with Hendrix. Right then. So there's a bit there that we can scan, but I'm going to keep reading for now. How many packs are you getting? A keg. Hate surprises. Did I mention you're the best? In the, <laughs> every other day. Modesty. Disco ball. Party's almost here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, man. I just got back and Dazza told me about Nats. You must be like crazy worried. But she's gonna turn up. You probably thought I was well out of order with my texts about the party. But obviously, I'll take care of all that. Ooh. You need to focus on finding Nats. And hey, I'm here for you, Loz. Whatever you need. Even if it's just a talk. Don't be one of those dinosaurs who thinks talking about problems a mug's game. <laughs> it helps, man. I should know. Listen, I'm gonna give you another bell later, okay? And we'll find her, yeah? You and her, you're gonna be together forever. All right, later. Ooh, so it looks like the person he's with now has gone missing. Potentially, right. Before I forget, let's scan this bit up here. Lovely, I love the scan stuff. Go away. Stupid messages. Oh, okay, so maybe we come back to that later because I didn't really seem to do much. Okay. Come if you need anything. It's a bike to eat. Okay, so has he been missing by this point? Take care of yourself. I know it's hard times, but don't go silent. Please talk to me. No one's seen you in days. Where are you? Oh boy. Oh no. Uh oh. I think I broke the phone. Oh no. Maybe I need to try scanning that thing again then. <laughs> ah, there we go. Nice. Right, let's do the chat first. See what Osgood has to say. Yeah, they didn't predict um, COVID, I guess, when they wrote this game, did they? Can't find it on your channel. If you talk about Last of Us, I didn't play it on my channel, but I have played the game. I very much enjoy your videos. It helps that you're super cute. Oh, wow. That's, that's very kind. Thank you. 
Um, scan it again, it'll work, yeah. I got there in the end, we're good. This isn't terribly encouraging, really. Bad news is no news. No news is good news, I thought I heard. Doesn't really fit with any data, which means we can't use it to uncover more. Great. I'm guessing so too. I imagine that is his partner who works at the cafe with him. Could be out looking for her. Was she taken by weeping angels? Because that's just some bad luck for people he's close to getting taken by weeping angels. Be a reasonable response to someone to care about going missing. Would you attempt to look for them without being contacted by yourself? That's also true. It means we're headed in the right direction. Well, we know a bit more about our friend Lawrence. What do you make of it all? I like that she's kind of respecting us and including us, wants our opinion. Sounds a bit boring. Um, I'm no investigator. You mean you weren't? Well, am I getting paid for it? Maybe he just got tired of the city life. Yeah, he seemed quite content with an ordinary life in Blink. I would say that's more significant than he's planning a party. Certainly worth looking into. Sounds promising. I also realize Lawrence hasn't tried to find his phone. It strikes me as very odd. How do you know? Well, it is very odd. I don't know why we question that. I've run 54 check checks and he hasn't called his phone or texted it. And he hasn't done any of the other find my phone things you'd normally expect. Oh yeah, he, he called a bit earlier. Well, apparently. I'm not sure we trust that though, because that was weird and creepy. These weird flashing images appeared. And it was scary. I didn't like it. Not a regular call then, is it? Well, no, thank you. See what I can do. If it really is him trying to reach through, perhaps the line was bad or whatever it is, it must have been serious. Maybe it's rated your person of interest. Possible. Didn't expect anything to come out of tapping on his phone. But I learned that my person of interest left some rather strange video recordings. To trace back to a shop near here that specializes in rare DVDs. Lawrence was just one of the shop employees I tapped. Who uses DVDs anymore? What kind of recordings? Fragmented message. Something about how Blinky might kill you. Haha! -ha. We should see if Lawrence experienced any other than usual events in the past week. Where should I start? You've managed to use the data you scanned to recover more files. There might be more uh, clues in those. Scan them and we'll see. Okay. So we've unlocked a bit more stuff. Are you a send multiple text kind of guy or send it all in one big paragraph? Um, Oscar's clearly the former. Yeah, she does like the little messages. I'm, I'm kind of like that as well, to be fair. Um, hello, Isabella. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You've played the Luigi's Mansion 3, did you enjoy it? I loved it, yeah, it's really good. Uh, Do Buffy and Doctor Who are two of my favourite shows. Always glad to watch a fellow fan, fangirling the way I do. Uh, thank you for um, watching them. Alex is here, hello, torture boy. This seems creepy. I agree, there was a very creepy bit earlier, and I'm still kind of a bit shaken by it. It was horrible. Um, okay then. I guess we need to put some new clues together. So there's something to find in these three. Let's check the gallery, shall we? Till death do us part. I'm guessing this is your partner. <laughs> ah. 
Well, that's not great. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay. Lawrence and Natasha. Good to know. Uh, let's go back. I like that they've kind of included like real life elements like this in it. <laughs> That's me when I move into my new place. Oh, hang on. Oh, did they get engaged, do you think? Oh, they're married now. She's got the ring on. Okay, interesting. Interesting. That's just a weird download. Okay. There we go. We know what Nat looks like now. I'm certain this is the Nat I mentioned. Yeah. Together forever, he said. We'll see. No, I don't like it when random people call me. Shark one seven four seven. Shark. Oh, hang on. One seven. Shark four one seven, seven four seven. Shark one seven four seven. Are you just gonna keep saying that? Oh, okay. Um. Well, thank you, friend. Is that going to be a passcode or something? There's some nice Easter eggs in Lance's contacts on his phone. Oh, cool. Make sure to keep an eye on the home screen every now and then, by the way. Oh, do I want to, though? Is there going to be an angel creeping up at it? Seem like a hijacked phone signal. Could it be data corruption? Okay, well, the fun doesn't stop there, Osgood. Does that mean for us? Ah, Oscar and I are friends. Confirmed. It's canon. I still don't know how it fits in with the other data on the phone. My guess is that all the fragments connect like these two. We'll get a better picture when we've got all the pieces. So keep calm and carry on scanning. Okay. Oh! Yeah, look at the home screen. It's like two blurry things. I mean, I'm guessing that's Lawrence and Nat. It looks a bit like their shapes. Or it's the Cyberman ghosts from Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, which I'd rather it not be. Because that would be quite the twist. Uh, I'm just going to take my jacket off because it's getting quite warm in here. This investigation is heating up, so we need to uh, deal with that. Right, okay, so we've uh, unboxed all of these now. Lots of new stuff. Not all of them, but a few. All right then. Let's just see. You're mentioned in a comment by Jackpot in a following thread. Weird phone corruption. Oh, well, we have been dealing with this. Click on the link below to view the thread that you've been tagged in. Sacred Circle explaining the unexplained. Anyone here familiar with bugs? 99.99% certain. I've got some kind of virus or bug on my phone. It's glitching everything out. Down to the last few security protocols at the Mo. Worst part is so much data has been corrupted. Apologies to those waiting for my updates of Wester Drumlins. Uh, those batch of photos were the first to go. Interesting. Someone wanted to remove signs of the creepy house. Might help if you tell us what kind of glitches, mate. Just weird patterns of numbers. Uh, it feels like there's an image in those two. Everything keeps shifting. Actually experiencing some kind of phenomena. Is there like a weeping angel in the phone? Is that what's going on? Okay, so there's more corruption going on. 
I feel something's watching me through my phone, like it's slowly waking up and forcing me to look at it. That's horrendous. I'm getting these strange dreams, hallucinations. The peaches keep moving. They get closer. Western drum, don't go there, don't go. It's too late, it's here, what should we... This is actually quite creepy, you know. Um... Ugh. Right. Didn't mean to go back there, did I? Featured article, Illusions of Security, eh? This week we take a look back at one of our older articles to explore a rather, a rather surprising installation outside a Van Gogh exhibition. <gasps> Fleeting construct, only there for a brief time. Is it coincidentally placed random object or a brilliantly critical commentary of our social landscape? Twenty ten exhibition. Oh, there's a TARDIS. Oh, I think can we ah oh, we can scan the TARDIS. Yeah. Fun. Ah, oh, and Oscar's gonna know what that is. So they they think it's part of the installation, the TARDIS. Tried to get into the box, but the doors were not open. It vanished before their eyes. Could not find the artist's signature anywhere. That's quite cool. I like the tying it into loads of different episodes. Oh, hang on. Oh, I thought I said um, Alex Kingston then. I thought, oh God, River Song took that photo. That would have been a funny Easter egg. Um, right. Oh, good. Excellent. Love this. Happy about this. Good. Good and fine. More corrupted email. Found an email update of Natasha's disappearance. Right. Ah, okay. Findme.web. Whatever you're going through right now, we're happy to provide any support we can. Please head over to the homepage and start filling in the details. Oh, God. This is kind of sad, man. Oh, okay. Right. They're going to need to find these pieces of information, I, I assume. Missing since home address. I'm assuming she'll live with um, Matey if they're married. So I imagine that's the address. But we might as well not bother putting anything in until we've um, got all the details. Age of disappearance. Eye colour and sex. Okay, noted. Noted, noted, noted. We've got the address already. Hopefully. 71 Tinker Street. Okay, but we... I suppose we could find out her eye colour from the photos. We're guessing she's female. I mean, that's very, that's very limited game. I mean, mm, must be better. Um, we could find that out in a photo, I guess. Do we know what day she went missing? I don't think we know what her age is and disappearance. So either way, I don't think we can fill that in yet. Can't get that one. Not that one. Right. Okay. I feel like those are getting clearer and clearer, those images. Throw back to one of the best episodes when they get to the museum perfection. Yes, Vincent the Doctor is fantastic. Okay. Good hmm or bad hmm? I'm really enjoying this, by the way. Um. We did guess correctly. All the fragments do seem to fit together. I mean, I feel like you guessed that. I'm not sure if I did anything there. It looks like we are getting somewhere. I'm sensing something's not making sense to you. Well, I mean, lots of things aren't making sense to us. Is 
they should link to the date on the phone, but they don't. It's almost like they were never supposed to be on Lawrence's phone. Maybe the last piece will make sense of this. I think you're right, or at least I hope. Go get the rest. I'll be waiting. It looks like the option is blocking a direct link. Might be worth checking out that email again to see where it leads. Right. Evidence of the doctor. I knew it. Aha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You can't resist that. Doctor Who. That's the person of interest. That's why I assumed him, her, them. It is hard to keep track. I agree. It's hard to keep track with all the law nowadays. What's so special about an old phone box? You are trusting us with a lot of information here, Osgood. Time traveling alien doctor, why not? You're adjusting to order this remarkably well. Lawrence was looking for the doctor. I also suspect that the doctor had something to do with you getting a hold of Lawrence's phone. That could make sense. Um, maybe Lawrence found the doctor. I have a niggling feeling he might have stumbled into something else. We must focus on finding Lawrence. I think he may have stumbled into a weeping angel or five. If you come across any more references to the Tyrus or the doctor, do send them to me. He might give me some leads on the doctor's current location. Will do. Have this... Conspiracy theory message board. Makes sense. He was into that stuff in Blink, wasn't he? What's with this Jack fellow experiencing glitches on his phone? Should I be worried? <laughs> it's happening to me. Don't see why you would be your imperfectly capable hands. Mine. Since you haven't been experiencing similar issues, fear not. Jack's last words about uh, Larry. He was right about Wester Drumlins. Do you think the same thing could have happened to Lawrence? He doesn't have Sally with him this time in the rest of Drumlins to get him out of it. Alright, okay. Haha! -ha. So we've got Natasha, we've got Mr. Flint, and I Isla, Isla, Townsend. Izzy. I want to get a surprise gift for Nat. Usual flowers are boring. Okay, so she's Natalie's best friend. Can't mind do something for his lovely wife just because. She's been talking about that new Indian place, Last Age of the Raj, if that's the name. Oh. So potentially went missing on the 17th. Potentially. 17th of Feb. Making note of that. Maybe phone's out of battery. Blah, 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 blah. No one's seen or heard from her. Go to the police. Okay, so she's been trying to get through to her, but obviously Larry went missing as well. Um. Oh, so this is the guy he got into the argument with, right? Mr. Flint. I live near your new property. It's Mr. Flint to you. Okay, he seems like a jerk. Now, there's some concerns regarding your property. Whatever the real estate agent told you, they're lying. It's not safe there. Don't go into that house. So I take it it is West of Drummond's. I need to stay away from that house. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm going to be told what to do like I'm some bumbling half-wit. Let's just you stop pestering me. You 
Hot by for supper. I suppose things can get lost in translation. Excellent. Hopefully we can sort all this out. Well, I don't think you did. Snap through my alarms. Why didn't you wake me? It's an hour past opening now. So I made the executive decision to give you the day off. You're ill, you need rest. Okay. Oh, I should use some notes, that's kind of wholesome. Feel meta. <laughs> and then they're right next to each other and she's like, can you make me a pint, thanks. Ba films, films, films. We're the same age, forty five is not that old, so she's forty five. Lovely. I think we just need her eye colour now. Did you go out? Where are you? So when was this conversation? Was this the day before? Yes. Okay, so it's definitely 17th that she went missing, it would seem. Cooking a rare for you, please be okay. Oh dear. Well, not great. Hey Sally, I, I know it's been a while, but this is urgent. Nat's missing. Oh God. It's like she just up and disappeared. It's them, Sal. I know it. They did this. I was... Sorry. What was I thinking? It's just... You're the only one that gets it. You were right to escape. Ooh. What do you mean she's missing? We did everything we could to prevent this. Didn't have the heart to tell you. Someone bought West of Drumlins. Okay. Should have just burnt that place to the ground. We're coming home. We'll figure it out. Don't. We can't afford to get your actress back anymore. Now you're a bit more famous. So <laughs> you better stay there. If it really is those things, you and Natasha are the only people I care about. So much so I want to face this with you. Please don't come back. She wanted to help too. I'll contact Rani. <gasps> Rani from Saturday Adventures. That'd be fun. See if there's something we can do about seeing that place off for good. Just be safe. But we should be careful. Oh, that's kind of sweet. I like that even if it maybe didn't work out for them romantically, they're still on good terms. It's them, so I know that they did this. Well, good. Charming. Um, did we unlock anything else for you? I don't think we did, did we? Right, let's just quickly check the gallery again. So I'm, I say she has brown eyes, right? Brown eyed girl. Do -do 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 now I need to remember where the hell that even was before. Um, is it this thing? So we're thinking missing since 17th of the 2nd, 2021. Home address 71, Tinker Street. Age of disappearance is 45, eye color. Oh, okay. That would have probably helped me anyway, wouldn't it? Brown, female. Oh. Ew. Okay. Maybe not then. Did I put something wrong in that? Is it the wrong address? Who knows? To do. Okay, I can come back to that. Let's do the Oscar bit first. What have you got for me? To 
know about you that repeat mention that place is raising some alarms. Oh, do you think? So it's more than alarms for Lawrence. She's not wrong. There's some stuff on the web app to click on. Okay, I'll check that out as well. Too much pain in his voice. Seems like Sally and Lawrence have a history with it. Well, they do. Ah, okay. Oh, this is my history because I was just on it, wasn't it? I mean, that stayed in, hasn't it? No, it's happened for some reason, but. Hmm. So that's my recently visited. Sparrow and Nightingale. And in 2008, yeah. The mission's free to a shop, I should hope so. Drop by the nook, right around the corner. Any questions? Da, 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 da. What the hell? That seems a bit weird, doesn't it? I might make a note of that. 1916 18 double X 14720. Hello at Sparrow Nightingale dot web. I might need to come back to that anyway because there's quite a few details there, but just in case. Can we click on about to us or is that just it here? Okay, fine. Delve into realities yet discovered and untold until now. Alabama's blue box. Singing sweet home Alabama all summer long. There it is. And in Montgomery as well. Is that like the Rosa Parks thing? That's very cool. Wooden phone kiosk in Spotted in Punjab, Tibet, 1937. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> That's such a good episode. Okay. Any other interesting things? Oh, that was what... That was the image that called us earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. Want your very own star? Click the link below for more intro, uh, more info. Show me. Oh, or maybe don't. Right. Good. And then the drumlin's disappearances. Haunted house, want to find home. Some say as many as 12 individuals have gone missing. Oh, come on now. Whatever the truth behind this mystery, there is a lingering danger in Western Drumlins. That much at least is a stone cold certainty. You think you're so funny, don't you, Doctor Who video game? Stone cold. Okay. A few new things to show her. I wrote Tinker Street. Oh, okay. That'll be why then. At least I, I thought that was right. I was like, that seems so strange. Right, I'll try that again after this. Uh, urban legends websites always seem wildly implausible, but I've stumbled across my fair share of leads on them. Because when you actually discover something truly bizarre and improbable, you tend to share it with people who might believe you. How did 12 people go missing like that? You'd be surprised at how many people go missing without anyone noticing. It seems our Lawrence notices these sort of things. And this will help establishing Lawrence's thought process. He's not the conventional sort. 
Look at this website. It's bad. Looks like it's the last one. Uh, what now? Run some algorithms. This may take a while. Great, great, thanks. Continue exploring the phone in the meantime. Let you know when I'm done. Cool. Have a blue box. Sweet home Alabama. Rosa Parks, there we go. Do you know the doctor? Met them a few times. One time I died. Uh, <laughs> time, space, space and time. But I couldn't take it because you were disintegrated. <laughs> but then I died. I like how we completely gloss over the fact that she just said she died. Maybe it's Steve Austin. Excellent. Kind, mad, brilliant, and sad somehow. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> I love that she's just telling us all this stuff. Explains time travel. Who'd say Lord Ava? All of us. Peasants, probably, or the working class. Maybe they lord over time? Sounds like something I'd say. Ah, oh, thanks, Osgood. Right. So now I remember that I need to actually spell things correctly. to this Tinker Street. What's I doing? Oh, I can't even just click back through it, can I? Oh, there we go. Where did Tinker come from? All right, so brown, female. There we go. Natasha Nightingale. Update for you, buddy. I'm afraid it's not good news. Lovely. I asked around and you were pretty much the last person to see Natasha. No signs of forced entry or anyone coming over the fence into your home. And from what you tell me, pretty much all personal effects are still in the house, so she clearly didn't go anywhere on her own. Checked in with a couple of pals at Scotland Yard too. Had them run every database I could think of. Not a sniff, not in the whole of London. I hate to sound corny, but it's like she just vanished into thin air. Sorry, Lawrence. She was your wife, and I know this must be hard, but this is the deadest of dead ends I've ever seen in my 16 years of doing this job. I think this investigation's over. Oh, wow. I hope you weren't expecting to be paid, buddy. Um, well, okay. Not great. I won't lie. Clue found. Natasha is missing. Well, I mean, we knew that. Okay. All's good. Bad news. Can't imagine how Lawrence must feel. Pretty bad, I would say. Quite a few of my ex-colleagues disappeared while on assignment. Losing people never gets easier. And to lose your spouse, I imagine that's much harder. Oh. I think Lawrence and Natasha may be in serious trouble. I mean, I could have told you that was good. We need to redouble our efforts in, f in finding Lawrence and Natasha. What about the doctor?
That's true. I'm certain we'll find more clues about the Doctor along the way. So what's the plan? You know, it would be the best agency to handle this. These types of odd cases are our specialty after all. I feel like I've heard about Unit before. I watched this show called Doctor Who. Now you're talking about highly classified information. You've just told me all sorts about the Doctor and time travel and aliens. Officially, we don't exist anymore. Yeah, unofficially, some of us uh, kept going in secret to solve this time fracture debacle going right now. Of course, they carry on the secret. Um, should I be worried about this time fracture? Not yet. Well, this is lovely. Down to us to solve this. What do you think we should look into next? Um, West of Dremlins, I guess. All points there. all connected. Comments' voice message also implies a them. Who could it be? Oh, good, because I had no new leads to start off with, so I'm glad. Uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. Time fractures the event that's happening in London. I'm really hoping to go. Oh, that's cool. Well, they are connecting everything. Liam, are you looking forward to the new Among Us map in a few days? I certainly am. That'd be good fun. I think the assumption from her is if the doctor chose you to have the phone, you can be trusted. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, I'm going to investigate Lawrence's house. Just hope I'm not the next one to go missing. Yeah, that that wouldn't that wouldn't be great. Okay then. Best the Dremlins. Oh, how will you tease me so? Some lovely views, I mean. I kind of wanted to go through these just in case like, you could see the TARDIS in the background or one of them or something. I thought it'd be quite funny. <laughs> You've been chased by ducks. See, that'd be like the perfectly ominous thing to do, to have like a weeping angel or something in there. Oh, they look good. Spooky things happening. No, 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 no. Spooky things. Go away. Go away, spooky things. I don't like it when spooky things happen to me. Why can't they happen to someone else? Ah! Uh, uh. Okay, well, we can see those two a lot more clearly now. So I, I guess that's fun. Was it worth the emotional torment? Probably not. Okay, so we've got new stuff for Sally, Mr. Flint, and a new friend called Oscar. Uh, oh, it looks like they work at the shop. I feel like they mentioned Oscar earlier, maybe, did they? Shop's closed till further notice. This is because it accidentally melted some of the merchandise in the rare DVD, oh God. Nat's missing his first thought is to send that. Like, come on, mate. Could you come over and pick up the keys to the shop? Might be going on the trip. Hmm. You're going to look, leaving you in charge. Right, okay. So he did head off somewhere. Right, 
Right, we have a new thing from Mr. Flint. I said three sugars, you absolute imbe... Mr. Nightingale, my dear chap, how did it get to this? I will tell you how it got to this, Nightingale. Your insane crusade to try to stop me carrying out renovations in my cellar. Now, most people know me as an easy-going man who... You don't sound it. For God's sake, make a fresh cup and get it right this time, you glistening simpleton. I love their accent. An easy-going man who prefers to find common ground. But in this case, the only grounds in question belong to me. Wester Drumlins is mine to do with as I wish. Ah, uh, die and then. I intend to open up its cellars. Die intend then. Intend to coerce or scare me again, and I shall contact both my lawyers and the police. Actually, I rather think the boys in blue would be fascinated by your tales of killer statues. Mm. Might even get you committed. And if you think you could remain silent when they pull you in for questioning, the chief constable is an old golfing friend of mine. He'd make you sing, Nightingale. He'd make you sing. Yeah, all right. I've so enjoyed our little chat. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Why would you be so, like, threatening and mysterious and, oh, I'm going to get someone to beat you up and go, toodle pip. Kind of undermines your argument a bit, doesn't it? So I think they're just scared that um, if he opens the seven stuff, he'll like release those four angels that are all trapped looking at each other from the end of Blink, right? I would assume. Uh, last tip I'll give because I remember it being easily skipped is I think you can click on the other posts on the website with the guy talking about the phone virus. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm more scared of the weeping angels. Fair enough. Happy finale week. Yes, thank you. Happy finale week indeed. Right, let's um go back to that thing then, shall we? What was that? Was that on emails? Um, it was this, wasn't it? There's other links apparently. Don't know. Oh, okay. Anyone know anything about this house? That's why I saw figures moving by the window. Ugh. I do think the Weeping Angels work best when it's just like set in an enclosed space like that. and It's like you're trapped in a house with them. I, I, I don't think there's anything scarier than that with those. Missing people. Mm, the weird calls and stuff. Larry's like, guys, stay away. Just don't go there. Statues, you say? Chair of statues. Yeah. Facing the other way. Living statue. That'd be cool, like, one of those living statue people. They, like, get possessed by the Whippy Angels or something, and then they actually, like, kind of become, like, a hybrid one. That'd be a cool idea. Or a very stupid one, I suppose. But depending on who you ask. Face protruding from my walls. Look like those cherub statues. Oh, my God.
creepy, 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 creepy. Tales from the Wall Part 3. Oh my goodness. It's an epic tale here then. I feel like I experienced an echo from the Blitz. A different name. Started ringing, it seemed to hypnotize and scare the sky. Oh, we had like a little uh, flashback. Wallum Green Station. One down there left, you say? That's good, isn't it? Davis Street attack raises questions. Then suffered a single isolated incident of destruction last night. Mystery woman holds on for dear life. Okay, I imagine this will be relevant at some point, but a series of odd events. It's a lot to kind of zoom in on. Oh, oh, that's so cool. This article is really small, so you probably can't read it on stream. They talk about sights of someone seeing a woman hanging from a barrage balloon. So people like saw Rose in The Empty Child. That's really cool. Oh, I love that. That's hilarious. Uh, nice little Easter egg there. Um, what else do I need to do? Given what you and Sally experienced, I think it's best we don't let anyone near Mr. Drummond's ever again. So every article keeps any potential buyers away. Oh yeah, I did remember seeing that name in some articles earlier. Oh, our Chandra, it's Rani Chandra. Oh, it is Rani from Sojourn Adventures. Oh, that's amazing. So I just want to thank you again for your help with our Western Drums article. Yeah, because she went into like journalism and stuff, didn't she? Yeah. So maybe they've managed to get published so quickly without your help. Clyde was right. You're a special person. Clyde said she was a special person. I like to think Clyde and Ronnie got together after the show ended. I think they were supposed to be heading in that direction with them, but obviously the sad things happened. Devils of the Sea, helping Wayland Mariners. Sea Devils for Series 13, please. Okay. Interesting. Lots of little Easter eggs that I'm enjoying. Right, okay. Dear Mr. Nightingale, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to provide you an update regarding your previous complaint of the Western Drummond's estate. On February 3rd, 2021, an agent was dispatched to the property to investigate the concerns outlined in your correspondence. After a thorough inspection, they found the building up to code. Thus, we have no plans to proceed with further action at this time. We understand that you submitted a total of three reports concerning this estate. Our teams investigate each of these. They continue to find no evidence. We can't entertain any further complaints. If you have disputes with the property owner, we suggest you contact them directly. And that's why he did so, I suppose. Um, right, okay. Still one more mail there to unlock at some point. Um, did I do everything I needed to do? I feel like I didn't read the rest of this actually, did I? So we had that. It's funny how the film industry hasn't found this capitalize off yet. Brilliant, okay. A few clues, uh, Osgood. Uh, 
Cal and I, while this is an anagram, can you see what of? Um, I can see Sally in there. Is that something to do with it? Maybe? I don't know. Just tell me. Lawrence and Sally. That's what I assumed. Okay. Lawrence and Sally must have spread stories about Western Drummonds to keep people away from it. The big question is why? Uh, I remember Lawrence saying Sally, someone new owns it now. He did try to warn the mirror now he saw it. Not this again. These keep scaring the life out of me. Watcher 9, yeah. 3, 2, 7. Watcher 9, 3, 2, 7. Watcher 9, 3, 2, 7. Hmm. Well, those are horrible. Not a fan of those. Forgot anagram of Doctor Who is that tortured? Yeah, that's tortured, I believe. Clyde opening up a homeless chariot after what he went through in Curse of Clyde Langer. I know. Just as freaky as the last one. So we have Shark and Watcher. Interesting. Are we going to get Jowls involved in this? Twice in a row probably means it's not happening randomly. Oh, really? Both calls were from old landline numbers. Very old numbers, probably 70 or 80 years old. I wonder if it's people who were, like, zapped back in time and still had their phones on them, so they're trying to call someone in the present day, or they're trying to call Lawrence in the present day. It's making it all weird. Maybe it's his gran. <laughs> of course. Can you trace it? I'd rather pay full attention to our main investigation. I bet like this is part of our main investigation. But enjoy this clip about Rose. Yes, I, I, I spotted it too, yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Could this be anything to do with our investigation? No. No, that's for our escape room thing we're doing or whatever. Mr. Flint does not seem like a nice man. Everything leads us to that place. What do you mean? It did end. Game over. Don't know how much more we can do on our own with just the phone data to go on. Can you recover more files? Don't know much about Doctor Who, but hello. Hello, fandom for life. Yeah, I hope time, the time fractures thing they do is good now, because... Otherwise, everything they've tied into it is going to be like, oh. He clearly hasn't been home in a while. Car was nearby and the keys to it were in the living room. All the stuff he ordered for that party is still in the boot. 
They didn't even get to have the party. Oh. Something odd about the master bedroom. Hang on, I mean. Outline of dust on the wall in front of the dresser like something was taken off the wall. I'm guessing it was the dressing table mirror. Interesting. Maybe it's elsewhere in the house. Didn't see it anywhere. Is it a mirror so he can fight against the angels? Like make them look at themselves? I don't they've taken it. Yeah, we still don't know where the hell he is. The answers might be in West of the Drumlins. Aisha's going to have a look around. Well, it was nice knowing you, Aisha. It's finest surveyor is very thorough and resourceful, so definitely the person we need in the field. Well, I'll remember her fondly. A cyborg shark and a bobsled? Radio expertise came in handy too. <gasps> Do you think she sent us that message about the shark? Shark 1747. Maybe she gets sent back in time and she ex explores this house and she tries to call us. And then it's like, shark. I don't know. But, you know, radio expertise and stuff, maybe. I don't know. I'm speculating. I'm invested. Radio tech enthusiast, shortwave, high frequency. She's passionate about it all. Anyway, I'll drop Aisha a message now. If you look through the phone again, see if you've missed anything, let me know if you find something. Will do, Osgood. Will do. Oh, for goodness sake. Screw it. Mr. Nightingale, Lawrence, Larry. I was devastated to hear about your wife, Natalie, I believe her name is, or was. But it does rather prove my point. Oh, piss off. That you should end your fixation with my property, Wester Drumlins. I've been a patient man, Larry. Throughout all your okay, scary and let's oh. be frank, your threats. Uh -oh. But I've instructed my lawyers, Derbyshire and Mills, to seek a restraining order against you. Your obsession with my property must cease forthwith. That's just something you have to face. Incidentally, my contractors have reported He's got seeing a figure on the grounds of WD on several occasions. I think we both know it's you. Naughty, naughty. Why has he got some mud on his face now? So I've upgraded the property security and you would be ill-advised to go on another one of your snooping expeditions. Call it a day, Mr. Nightingale. It is over. Oh, shut up. I don't want you within a stone's throw of Wester Drumlin's Mm, face, stone. Has he got an angel in him? That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. I couldn't hang up. Oh, stop doing that. I have to decrypt the data. Oh, no, this is phone. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, 
Album appears to be sourced for these data shifts. Piece together the fragments there and I'll monitor the situation from here. I'm no computer scientist. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Tap and hold the pieces, move them around. If pieces fit, they'll snap together. Okay, fine. I'll complain the entire time, but fine. It's a weeping angel. I don't want to finish it. I can see it's a weeping angel. Go away. No, an image of an angel. Stop it. Oh, God. If there's a bloody weeping angel in... Ah! No! Oh, what's that one pink? Is there another one in there? Oh, there is there. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a fan of this. Not happy about this at all. seem to uh oh, there we go. Ah! Ah! they're so scary i don't like it i imagine this is even worse actually playing it on a phone something on the phone, Osgood. Thanks, Doctor, for letting me have this phone, by the way. So what caused the anomalies I detected. Do you see? That wasn't data we just put together. It's a distinct entity that's alive. Oh, yay, thanks. It's a weeping angel. Well, I could have told you that before I even started the game. It's called the Lonely Assassins. What's that exactly? I'm role playing. I don't know. I know. Yeah, digital form of angels is horrible. He's trying to escape. Where to? Well, I, for one, am willing to surrender to our angel overlords. Show me how it was good. I've been able to delete function on my bug. There's a corrupted fragment on the screen. The scan button will send to a delete button. When you see it, use it to delete the fragments. You know what I mean when you see it. Do it now, we're running out of time. It's trying to take over the phone completely. Hurry. I don't know what that means though. talking about like what am I looking for 
go here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go to delete these things. On my bug. What's her bug? Okay, so just go to all the things. doing here say it's false. Don't believe my words at the beginning. So it's actually I'm not clever enough for this. I'm a liar. What I say is false. Don't believe my words at the beginning. So don't believe that you're a liar. Because that was actually true. If this is true, then... <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm, st I'm just going to say no. I don't know. Cool. Uh, fear and loss, surrender to the embrace, your time will be spent to nourish the greater good. I have my own path. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Eh. No. No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. I'm fine, thanks. Go away, go away, go away. No. And I don't know what this means. Go away, go away. I have no idea what's going on here. Must destroy it. Cast the ring into the fire. How am I supposed to beat that? The opinions can only move when they're not being watched. Looking at its behaviour here, the rule still seems to apply. As long as you keep it in sight, it can't attack. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? I'll be sarcastic in the face of death. Yeah. 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 
find it. Oh are you, you bugger? Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'm so confused. Kill it. Did I did I do it? Oh yeah, it says I did it. Okay. So what else do we need to do? Gallery and chat. for you. Don't think I won't find you and keep clicking on you. I'll do it. Ah. Stupid bloody. Okay, that count. Yeah. isn't it?
feel like I've just aged about 25 years. That was creepy, man. Right, I need a drink. Sadly, that's not vodka, but bloody hell. Well, no thank you. Let's not do that again. I just want to go home. Safe for now. Oh, good. I feel there's more danger ahead. Interesting. The data distortions on the phone have been eradicated. The entity must have been causing them. Creature mice have corrupt and destroy more data on the phone too. Oh, great. Oh, good. In better news, Aisha's about to die. Ah, more chat with Natasha. Excellent. I'm intrigued. Damn, got a whole bunch of stuff. Is that an angel statue? You got damn right it is. Can you lose that one if you take too long? It I it felt like you could. I was I feel like I was in danger of that at the start when I had no clue what I was doing. Uh look at a new bunch of data. Fine. Well, if I could I would. New file in the gallery, new email. Okay. I do believe your presence was quite a home 30 minutes ago. Popcorn's getting stale. Seem to get on well with the neighbour. For a team, we can march over the fence right now. I can make him an officer, he can't refuse. You have to go here alone. I'm never alone with you around. Oh dear. Funny you should say that. I know everything now, Nightingale. Cousin told me all about you. You've been trying to get that property for ages, and we're trying to do it. it won't work. Oh, I've already, this we read this earlier, didn't we? This is the one with the stone cold certainty. Don't take stock in fiction. I won't be bought with a simple pot roast. Okay, well, things aren't great with those guys, basically. Marguerite. But dear Lawrence, thanks for dropping by again today. We managed to get that film you wanted. I hope this is what you're looking for. Here's the download link. This link is valid for one download only. Well, hopefully, he hasn't downloaded it yet then. Oh, is that the one? We already did that, didn't we? Maybe. We did something like that earlier, anyway. Oh, yeah, it was the article about Rose we downloaded, wasn't it? Why would I want to be interested in that? Um, having a clue. <laughs> Check the link and if you can find this video on the phone somewhere. Ah! Well, 
Well, that was nice. Thanks for that. Random woman. <gasps> hey, they're the doctor. Lovely. And then that was the thing about Rose and the barrage balloon. Cool. Oh, that's the day you met. Hmm. Does that confirm you're the human one then? Not the Zygon? Or are you just pretending? Why are you so interested in finding the Doctor? When the Doctor shows up, interesting things tend to happen. Hunting for adventure, eh? I think Uni could really use a Doctor for tease right now. Speaking of, you'd make a fine recruit for us. <gasps> yes, please. Hire me. I'd love to sign up. Perhaps I'll be colleagues someday then. Doctor visits Overbot then, A, A, A. Snogging Ancient Queen. Well, I mean, all of these, to be honest. Have this corrupted video. It's weird. Must have damaged the file, of course. Can you fix it? No. Do we get it? I wonder if that woman was, um, I didn't get a good look at her. I wonder if it was uh, Natasha or Natalie, whatever her name was. Um, kind of sent back in time. So use the email from the archives as a starting point. You contact Marguerite. Convince her to give you the digitized video she sent to Lawrence. So you'll have to pretend to be Lawrence. Looks like a personal transaction, so she wouldn't release it to a stranger. Uh, I can do that, game on. Sure. Let's say yes. It's our last chance to become Raiders of the Lost Archive. I appreciate the fun. Just get your facts right. It's all in their email exchanges. Go on, give her a ring. Good luck. Oh, I have to pretend and do things now. Alright, let's find the emails from her. Is this the only thing we have from her? I'm going to make note of some things about her then. Marguerite at metarchives.web. I love this kind of stuff in the, this game. This is fun. Record number A113. During the war. Okay, so it's Marguerite Quincy. The name Marguerite always reminds me of um, Resident Evil 7. I don't know what I'm going to need to know, but I imagine they, like, test me on the record number and stuff, maybe. Who can say? We'll find out. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Then her phone is... 
O two O seven nine four six O eight two seven extension O three four. Okay then. Is that everything? Marguerite. See, I think that's the only thing we have to go on. I wish, I think it's time to change that background. Uh, consider playing this myself, love these kind of games. Yes, hello power, welcome. It got scary earlier. I didn't like it very much. Right, phone. Oh, what context do you have? Balrock. Can we just like call all these people? Nat's dad, Amos Pierce, Kathy Nightingale. Malcolm Wainwright. Oh, he kept in touch with um Kathy's like grandson. Ronnie, Sally, Ren O'Neill. Okay, do you just have her number in here or not? I don't think you do, do you, Marguerite? No. All right then. Do we put the extension in as well or not? we do. Makes sense, otherwise why put it in there? I hope I've written the number down right now. I didn't earlier, did I? Oh, bloody hell, I spent to end it. Let's do that again. Do, 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 oh, okay. I don't think I needed the O2 at the start, maybe. Maybe we don't need the extension. I mean, the bit the start, even. Not the extension. <sighs> Liam, there's an angel behind you. Don't, don't say, don't put comments like that in. Time to hang up first, yeah. I got them in the end. Although, didn't we just do that? Oh, there we go. You have reached the Metropolitan Archive, your one stop access point to our nation's history. If you are looking for an introduction to the Met Archive, please press 1. For general inquiries, please press 2. For research assistance, please press 3. For international collaborations, please press 4. To return to this menu at any time, press 0. We want 3, don't we? Because Marguerite's a research assistant. Having trouble finding what you're looking for? Feel free to submit a request or query and one of our administrative staff will get back to you. If you've already made a request or have a search in progress and you'd like to make a call following this up, please dial the four-digit extension number of the person you would like to speak to after the tone. Otherwise, press zero to return to the main menu. One, oh, three, four. You have dialed the extension number of Quincy. 
Marguerite. It's true. Please I have. hold while we try to connect you. This is risky. I don't like it. Hello, Marguerite speaking, records administrator. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? The line seems to be off or something. Give me a moment. I have your number right here. <laughs> Text you in a bit. Oh, will you? Oh, that's handy, so you don't have to hear my voice. Thank you. Stopping by again today. Ah, oh, but when did we meet? Twenty third of February. Does she mean just that day, or does she mean like before that? we were talking about here. Um, so that was February. Is it now March? No, it's the 28th. So I guess last week, maybe. Hi, how are you? I guess it's last week then, right? Whew. Step one complete, and I didn't panic at all. It's refreshing to speak to a hobbyist like yourself. The change from the usual media researchers and academics. I particularly enjoyed our last conversation about the nature of time. We met in chat, right? Because she said, thank you for like dropping in. Thanks for dropping by. I need to say, but I'm digressing. You're asking about the file you requested. And it was... <laughs> I'm second guessing myself every single time. It was the old video footage, right? Man, see, I couldn't do this as like a job and stuff. Yeah, it was a film, wasn't it? Yeah. Monumental importance. I hope you managed to download the file. Ooh, which one do we choose? I think it didn't work. Accidentally deleted it. Oh, what do we go for here? I feel like if I like, oh, I accidentally deleted it, she's going to be like, oh, that's a shame. And computer died, oh, that's a shame. But maybe if we put the blame on the actual thing? I don't know. Maybe any of them would be fine. Must be a bug in our system. Thanks so much, you're the best. <gasps> what did you find? A telephone box that predates its invention. Down there from the old link, you should get the video and the photo. I hope this helps. You are a wonder. Right. 
So let's download that. Amazing. Okie dokie. I'm not sure if I would call that hacking. I'm in. Let's watch the video. So want that. There we go. Look at the little police box. Oh, Charles Dickens' big house. <laughs> nice. That's very wholesome. That was a good speech. Thanks. I suspect that might be all I have on this phone. It's excellent work. We might be what I need to track down the doctor. How do you know there isn't anything else? Going by the dates of when launched, save data on the phone. The next time sighting you found from the last file was modified on the phone before it went dead. We'll only know how far Lawrence got with his exercise once we find him. Okay, fine. Uh, so now we need to watch that video again, don't we? Still can't get into those. Oh, I can see when you click that, that's um, David Tennant I can see there. That's that Don't Blink video. That's the corrupted one, right? That could be, um, that could be her. Right then. Full thing. Thanks, Henry. This is a message for oh Lawrence Nightingale of London, England. There should be more instructions attached to the real tin. Hi, Larry. It's so nice to be able to say that again. Oh boy, she got sent back in time. I'm in Kansas. No, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. The day Herbert Hoover wins the US election. Though no one knows that yet. I'm staying at the old Denslow farm, which is lovely and full of great people. And God, I miss you so much. Every single day. I mean... I'm fine. Don't worry. One minute I was in London, my time, our time. He has to go through all the this next again. Second, I'm in Times Square, 1926. It was like life on Mars without Johnson. <laughs> he was so great in that. But people only remember Philip Glenister because Gene Hunt was so. I'll I mean, get the Howard nice. Saxon mentioned in there. About telly. That was always our thing. You better not be schlepping around conventions with someone else now, by the way. Unless it's Sally. Sally. Could you move it closer, please? I know it sounds stupid, but... I was always jealous of the thing you two had. I mean, the angel thing. But that's not why I finally snuck off to Wester Drumlins. Honestly, I was trying to help. I don't know how, but... Yeah, it worked out well, didn't Anyway, it? as I was leaving, that was when this, like, damaged statue touched me and... Zap. You think Wi-Fi's rubbish in our bedroom? Try 1928. I'm sorry I didn't believe you when you told me how dangerous it was. 
I pawned all the jewellery I was wearing, made some pretty shrewd moves in the markets. Always knew my degree in American history would come in useful. Call me Natasha Gecko. Actually, don't. Makes me sound like your pet lizard. <laughs> Did I mention that I miss you? Every single day. Oh, not all my jewellery. The ring of bling. Till death us do part. The vicar didn't mention anything about weeping angels. <laughs> Henry, what's wrong? Uh oh. Henry? Henry? You okay, buddy? Oh dear. Wow, that was, um, happy. Someone's must have played this a few dozen times. I can imagine. Must have heard to record that too, I imagine. Natasha went to West of Drummonds and fell victim to the angels. They're not merciful creatures. Fate far worse than death to be ripped out of time and away from the people you love. Uh oh. She hasn't replied, eh? There we go. Oh, quite a bit going on here. The angels are coming for you, but listen, your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Hey. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for that. <laughs> I just thought, but still. Well, this is it. I'm going back to where it all began. Wester Drumlins. Almost there now. It's funny, I I've been there dozens of times and always got a tight knot of fear in my stomach. This time, though, nothing. <laughs> I might stop the angels or... Ranny told me about this bloke called Anthony Williams. She interviewed him and he claimed that his parents were zapped by the angels separately, but both ended up in exactly the same point in time and space. So who knows? I might beat the angels forever or have a date at the hot old... I thought so. Right, gotta go. I'm gonna get in through this side entrance. If I don't make it and you find these messages, you know the drill. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. That's what the man said in the video. Good luck, Mary. Ah! Oh dear. Oh, that doesn't seem good. I don't know why I've watched these in completely the wrong order. But there you go. Let's start with this one now. Okay. Captain's log, stardate 54274.7. This is an audio diary. No, it's not. It's an audio journal. Journal always sounds <laughs> more grown up. Okay. And I'm going to be recording stuff about Western Drumlins and the Angels in case... Well, just in case anyone ever needs to know. Started back in 2005. Long story short, a house called Wester Drumlins as something nasty in the basement. Creatures called Weeping Angels, or Lonely Assassins, who, if they touch you, will send you back in time to feed off the resultant time energy. And no, I don't fully understand it myself, but they're like stone killers. And the only way to stop them is to look at them. Sounds easy, but it is. I'm home! 
<laughs> Hiya. But it isn't. The angels of West of Drumlins are trapped in a circle. They're locked together because they're looking at each other. And the cellar is boarded up, so... Trisha says she's calling the kid Marta. What's wrong with that? Marta Carter. <laughs> what are you doing? An audio journal. Did you start by saying Captain's Lock, Stardate, whatever? No. <laughs> Did you? I have done. <laughs> Good job, I love you, Mr. Nightingale. Come on, you can give me a hand with the shopping. Be with you in a tick. Anyway, some guy called Flint has just bought West of Drumlins. I don't know him, but... There's a load of frozen stuff needs sticking in the freezer. On it. I'm sure he won't be a problem. No, no problem at all. He's a chill guy from what I've gathered. Journal update. Flint is an idiot. I don't mind idiots. Idiots, of course. I'm yeah. used to them. Ah, oh, that's very good. I worked in local government for six months, but he's a dangerous idiot. He listened to everything I had to say, didn't believe a word of it. And he said he couldn't guarantee he wouldn't crack on with his plans to renovate the cellar. This guy could unleash the weeping angel. Which guy? Hiya. Sorry. Didn't hear you coming. Who are you talking about? Flint, new owner of Wester Drumlins. He's doing work on the place, which could, you know. Well, he could be thinking about it. Then see how much decent builders cost and decide he doesn't need a second mortgage. Are you sure? I'm sure. Ish. Why don't you go over and check it out? See if he's got any contractors on the job. I know. I, I, I should do. But that place... Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't want to go back either. Look, I'll stick the kettle on. Nats. Yeah? Thanks. I'm praying I can convince Flint not to renovate the lower floors because those steps don't just lead to the cellar. They lead to hell. Oh. Lovely. So, no word from Nat since she popped out last night. Mm. I found all her mates. No joy. But I can't help but thinking... I just wanted to hear her voice. So I played back a couple of my journal entries. Ones where she came in, so I'd recorded what she was saying. God. And in one of them, she says I should check out West of Drumlins. And I say something like, I know, but I don't want to. Well, what if... What if she wanted to help and she went over there to check it out? She did. What if that's what happened? And an angel or something? What if she's gone forever and I'm responsible? Then you've got a lot of stuff to deal with. Mood. Just watched a message from Nats. Oh. I thought, like an idiot, it would bring us closer, but it just made me realise how far apart we are. And how much I miss her, and she's confirmed it. There's at least one active angel at Wester Drumlands. And what with everything that's going on there, I, I can't wait anymore. I've got to at least try and stop it before it unlocks the others. I know full well it might kill me. Or send me back in time, or... I don't know, maybe I don't stand a chance, but... Last time, me, Sally and the Doctor used their own gazes to lock them in stone. And so... Like Perseus, I go into battle he with a reflective surface. Doubt I could get hold of a shield, but I'm guessing a mirror will do the trick. The Doctor used to call them the Lonely Assassins. He reckoned it was because they turned to stone if you even glance at them. But if you think about it, Lonely Assassins are the best kind. Because we've got nothing to lose. Oh. Well, that's good. Suicide mission. Lovely. Oh dear. That's not looking good for the poor fellow, is it? Let's look at more chats first. Ah, 
Oh, she went to like, photograph things, yeah. Right, we're coming back to London for a bit. Tomato, tomato. Oh, a day before my birthday, 18th of September. <laughs> oh, I like that they still still got on. Oh boy, let's enjoy some pain. Half hour later. Thank you, exposition. Ah, oh, she gave him the 17 DVDs. That's very wholesome. Doctor, yeah. Treat, cheeky grin runner with impractical footwear. Really avoid the rest of Dremlins now, can we? Just in case I've missed everything. <laughs> Tell me all again. Good feeling about Aisha. Oh god, no, not this again. Angel five eight zero one. Angel five eight zero one. Angel five eight zero one. Still don't know what these are about. That's weird. Doubt the source of defense corruptions, whatever this is, can't be related to that. I think it's worth tracing the call. So it was set up on the network's own automated call lines. Who do you think is behind this? Fifties. Is it going to be Natasha trying to get through? Uh, 
Unless it is Lawrence himself, actually, that's a good idea. It did sound, the first message we got actually did sound like um, Lawrence. Well, access it. Okay. Oh boy. I eh, don't want to see any live action angeling. Aisha, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I was going to phone you. Are you streaming my body cam speed? Where are you right now? Scooby Doo's house. What? <laughs> West of Drumlins. I just finished installing the exterior cameras. I've done some of the inside ones, but I still need to... You have to get out of there now. I was a unit operative for five years. I think I can handle a spooky old house. Hey, do you know that there's a statue of the owner in the basement? Oh, he did turn into a statue. Still here. That isn't statue. Listen to me. You're going to be okay. Just don't... Like what's was happening to Amy? To say, don't blink. Who is that? Who are you? Uh-oh. Wrong question. What's the right question? Where are you? Oh, no, no, Where no, no, no. He's behind No, me. no, no, no. Ah! And when your friend said that you shouldn't blink and you're going to be okay, she was only half right. Hello. So the owner kind of became a weeping angel person. Well, that was fun. Um, that was good. <laughs> Hello. The angels. <laughs> oh, he's got some uh, emo makeup on now. Flint, yeah? I have some excellent news for you. Something that'll put a smile on your face. I am dead. Good. Or as good as. The angels are using Flint's consciousness to communicate. Because we wanted to say thank you for being so slow and so incompetent. You couldn't even stop Flint's work on Wester Brumlins. That work has allowed one of our number to free the angels trapped in the cellar. They're regaining yeah. their strength, and very soon they will be as right as rain. Your planet will become our larder. Rude. And I wanted you to know I will not forget how you tried to stop us. I will find you and send you back to a time when Earth was devoid of life. That shall be your eternal prison. Just think of me as your guardian angel. <laughs> See you soon. What the dick? Oh, stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> hello. Not your best angle. Oh no. Oh.
Oh, well, we've got an image of Flint. Well, that was handy of them to send us that creepy image, wasn't it? Do that bloody quick. Are you sure about this? Will it be fine there? That's very nice of you, thank you. Can't wait to watch more Weepy Angel creepy stuff. Feast on your friend. You sent her here, Petronella. Glad she's dead. Oh dear. You jealous of her as well? I would only wish death on my worst enemy. We're growing stronger. Almost ready. And unfortunately for you, you're my worst enemy. <laughs> What's the time, Mrs. Wolf? I need to get something from outside the house, but I'm afraid... Actually, I could just leave it there. Petronella goes to hell. Hmm. I'm Stop afraid it. you're going to have to guide me out of here. No. No. Don't, don't say that. Oh, you're going to die. Get out, for goodness sake. Oh my God, Florence, you genius. <laughs> Are we really gonna defeat the Weeping Angels with a disco ball? That's what I'm going to be doing. You can use the cameras outside. I'm going to storage to keep watch for Flint and his contractors. Ah, oh, thank goodness for the app. It's an app for everything. Oh, for God's sake. Joker, nine, two, two, six. Joker, nine, two, two, six. Joker, nine, two, two, six. Okay, Joe. Ah. Shark. One seven four seven. Thank God I wrote these down. Bloody hell, how do you find them otherwise? I guess you could replay the call somehow. Watch uh nine three two 
Seven. Like our two of the things are Watcher and Angel. Kind of links in a way. Five, eight, zero, one. So someone's gonna know that we need these codes now, so they sent them to us in the past, I guess. Joker, nine, two, two, six. I love you. The doctor once said that courage isn't just about not being frightened. It's being afraid and doing what you have to do anyway. Which it's true. It's good to know because right now I am very, very afraid. But we have to do this. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Why is it always the cellar? Oh, cellar. From the Latin, solarium, meaning the place where monsters hide. Oh, God, oh. it's not really, sorry. Distraction technique. It's a habit I got off the doctor. The trouble is... There we go. It never works. It's the inhaler. Yeah, you sang this song already. Petronella goes to Hella. If you're trying to scare me, you're doing a terrific job. Mm. Still jealous of your sister, little girl, with her good looks and charm. She's no angel, which is why I actually quite like her. <laughs> oh, you've been around time travel machinery, haven't you, Petronella? She likes to go out, though. Nightclubs, bars. How do they know so Lots much? Of yummy Archon energy on you. I'm more of a library girl myself, but we did go to the odd disco together. Archon energy makes angels nice and strong. Never liked the loud music. Strong enough to. But I always loved. Consume your world. My phone. <laughs> I think we just saved the planet with a disco ball. Oh, that is so the doctor. <laughs> How embarrassing for those guys. Uh, yes, Osgood is meant to represent the fans, I believe. Well then. You all right? That was a cool set with the disco ball. It'll do 
for now. Okay, good. Yeah, we were talking earlier, weren't she, about losing people on the job. I assume Lawrence maybe was the one who sent the messages to us. Somehow he knew. Although actually, no, would it have been Aisha? Because she would have known the codes of the cameras, right? Um, I'd say that, yes. See you around, Osgood. <gasps> no. Hiya. It's the doctor. Don't worry. Not your doctor. The doctor. Phoning to say thanks for the work he did with Osgood. Top stuff. Oh my god. He's brave and dogged and whip smart and all those other words people normally use about me. Whoa. Sorry about that. Okay. Osgood's busy overseeing the cleanup operation, but she wanted you to know they're moving the angels from the basement to a top secret cell in the Black Archives. And if you were worried about Mr. Flint, don't be. Got to him in time, and he's making a full Oof. recovery. He might still have a heart of stone, but the rest of them is going to be flesh and blood. Oh, hold on. Again. Ah, ah, sorry. Console's playing up. Time for its 2,000 year MOT. <laughs> Osgood thought you should know something else important. That which holds the image of an angel becomes itself an angel. So when Larry took pictures of them on his phone, that's how they were able to infiltrate it. But hey, you dealt with all that, and I think... Hello? Oh, I'm picking up a distress signal from the Bar Galactica, so I'd best be off. Just one last message from Osgood. She said if you ever fancy working with her again, well, all you've got to do is pick up the phone. Hey. Literally. Oh, about Larry. My old friend. I really hope he's going to be happy as, well, <laughs> happy as Larry. But I'm not sure what happens to him next. I don't know everything. Where'd be the fun in that? See ya. Well, you could go and find out. Wow. Ah. Well then, all right. I might actually need to quickly... Turn that off for you guys. Oh, just in case of copyright, I kind of need to turn that down. Um, I wish she was into old radio stuff. Yeah. Is this game canon? I don't know. Um, you'd. Uh, have to ask the people who made it, I guess. I feel like it's supposed to be. I think it might, it's going to tie into lots of things. But I don't know for sure. Either way, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. I'm glad we got it all done in one session. Um, Schrodinger's canon. Yeah, that's about right. It's like big finish and stuff, isn't it? There's always the debates. Um, yeah, that was really fun. It's not letting me skip the credits. So I'm going to wait for them to run out. I don't know if you... Oh, after, that's the after credits scene. Ooh, interesting. That's maybe why I can't skip... Yeah, I wasn't expecting um, Jodie at the end there. I didn't know she was um, recording anything for this, so that's really cool. I knew Osgood was in it, and I knew Lawrence was in it, but everything else was kind of fun. I liked all the different references tying in. I liked working stuff out. Yeah, that was good fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Very clever. Um, some really good world building. Yeah, I agree. Oh, look at all these in-theory playtesters. Excellent stuff. 
right, I think it's coming to a conclusion. So let me just put that back up, just in case there is a post credit scene that we need to hear. Well then, and to all our loyal fans, thank you. Thank you, Lonely Assassin. If I don't make it and you find these messages, you know the drill. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't oh, we're gonna blink. find out what happened to him. Good luck, Mary. I think the angel's flown, Yaz. The best day in the TARDIS till I'm sure. Oh. Nothing. Just thought I heard something out back. I'll go and check. No. Did you stay there, Mr. Tasha. Did they like, live with her? Or like, couldn't you just bring her back to present day? What do you want? This is private property. Hiya. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. Is this the old Denbo farm? Aw, that's really nice. They reunite. <laughs> Oh, that's great. They do kind of get together again. Oh, that's good. That just sucked if um went through all that again after losing his sister and stuff. Uh, Weeping Angel secured. High level threat were neutralized by Agent Petron Osgood and then a civilian named Redacted. Fortunately, Agent Aisha Green has been classified as MIA following the incident. Um, and the status secured for Lawrence. Attempted to stop the Weeping Angels at West of Dremlins. Rescued by the 13th Doctor and is now in 1920s America with his nice Natasha, a victim of the angels herself. You didn't really raise any evidence of their presence in the past. Okay. Well, couldn't they have just brought them back to the present day, though? Or does it just not work like that because it would undo the angels? I don't know. That makes me feel bad for Sally Sparrow now because her <laughs> friends have all just gone in the past. Um, that's kind of sad. But at least they're together. So every cloud, I suppose. Um, and we successfully completed all these things. Or oh, finding the TARDIS is deleting the angel fragments on time and convincing Marguerite. Okay. So there is a time thing to deleting those things, I guess. Well, yeah, I know that. I've been playing the balloon thing. Right then. Okay. Let me just... don't want that to um, get the video taken down. There we go, guys. That was Doctor Who, The Lonely Assassins. Oh, God. How long have we been playing that for? Over two hours, by the looks of it. Uh, I never got those scenes. Maybe because when I finished, I missed bits from it. Yeah, I, I assume you have to, like, complete all those things to, like, get that ending, maybe. I don't know. Um... Yeah, Yaz mentioned. So Larry doesn't marry Sally. No. Um, based on like the start of the game and everything, didn't work out with those two. And Larry married someone else, but they are still very good friends, which is nice. Uh, I don't think you can because of paradoxes or something. I would assume so. It's got to be something like that. Otherwise, it's a bit too easy, wouldn't it? You could ask that of Amy and Roy. Too. Well, with Amy and Roy, they made it clear that it was a paradox that they were creating because of when they jumped off the roof. And another one would rip New York apart, so they can never come back. But there wasn't it wasn't quite that cut and dry with this, so um I wasn't sure. Either way, um hello John, welcome. <laughs> We're just finishing up. Uh did I come in the industry? I'm afraid you did. We just finished the game about thirty seconds ago. But you know what? It's a post credit appearance from you, so thank you for showing up. Um They couldn't if they brought her back then everything what happened won't happen, then paradox. Maybe if it happened, they brought her back a bit after it all happened. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's time traveling Doctor Who. It's the rules are always different. Um, but yeah, that was Lonely Assassins. I really enjoyed that actually. Uh, that was damn good fun. A good few hours of entertainment. Um, I mean, if you do play it and you don't kind of complete all those objectives, I did. But if you didn't, you you know, it's a bit of replay value for that. I mean, there's probably replay value anyway in a sense. Probably not too much. Um, if you know everything, you know everything. Um, but it didn't like definitively say like, 
this is how you got the you know things to unlock the cameras and everything we can assume it's Aisha because that would make the most sense I suppose um, but it doesn't actually like tell you that so it's up to interpretation with that I thought the weeping angels were very creepy um, use spare in the which is probably for the best um, but when they like first flashed up and everything and you know, the appearances very creepily handled I think in this I, I think they did a good job with them um, I'm not sure how effective the disco ball would be as a weapon stopping them because like tiny little mirrors and stuff but I can buy that it works and they're probably secured afterwards anyway so yeah those angels are hell of a time they've been frozen for god knows how long just staring at each other after blink and then they're released for about five seconds and they're put back again um but yeah i liked how things were kind of tying together the slowly unraveling mystery, um, mystery i thought was very well written it was cool to see um, some live action performances in there as well but they got um osgood back ingrid oliver to play her again it was um, really cool and um the guy who played larry getting him back was nice it's a cool continuation and i guess conclusion to his character uh, and a nice little arc for him which was fun uh yeah really well put together i was actually very impressed with this um this on steam if you want on pc i i think it was like six quid 5.99 i think it was for me i think it's a bit cheaper if you get it on your phone and i'd be interested in seeing how it plays on the phone because obviously you're supposed to be on the phone for the entire thing so that'd be quite immersive i would imagine um and the fact they recommended headphones in was definitely a plus i think that really gets you involved for sure um so yeah be sure to check it out if you think it's something that you'd like to play through yourself and see if there are other easter eggs and articles and stuff that i missed because some of the text was quite small but readable if you really tried um but yeah that was jolly good fun i'm glad i checked it out i had been meaning to it, it, this came out like, like two or three weeks ago i think it's still fairly recently and seems to be tying into some larger stuff um which is fun i liked the you know little easter egg mentions of some other characters that we'd kind of seen and heard of in doctor who lore before um always happy to see a sea devil mention we got that i love the sea devils so that was all good fun um do 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 oh yeah that's true he did fix the christmas um the new york par paradox scene didn't he and um Turn the Doctor Mysterium, you're right. Um, so we could go and get them now, but I guess they'd had a life and moved on. Uh, I think the format worked pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it was good stuff, actually. I think the only time I was a bit like, what the hell am I doing, is when you needed to stop the angels and get them out of the de separate things. I don't think it made that too clear what you're supposed to do. The rest of it, I could kind of get a sense, like, okay, I can do that a bit later on, I can do that a bit later on. I was, there was a bit there, I was like, what the hell am I doing? And the fact that it was timed as well is kind of a bit mean that they... Maybe that's why they make it purposely vague, because you have to do it in a certain amount of time. I wonder what happens if you do fail that and don't do it in time. Maybe that could be my replay value, failing everything and seeing how badly things go. I don't know if you like if, if you fail things, maybe Lawrence doesn't get found, um, or you know more people die. I'm not sure. Like the landlord guy, even he's fine in the end. I mean, well, I'd rather he'd died, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna hold a grudge. It's fine. Um, and yeah, Jody, I think turning up at the end. Um, at least you know a voice cameo was fun um, post credit scene and all that that was really yeah really really fun I enjoyed this a hell of a lot and I hope you enjoyed it too um, thank you for sticking with it if you have been around for a while um, so yeah I'd say two or three hours is a pretty decent estimate for how long it would take you to get through um, I don't think my phone battery would actually last all that time um, playing this in one big session it would surely die before that so I'm glad I got the PC version but I think it would be even more immersive on the phone, but I don't think I, I felt like I lost too much um, playing on PC. So, yeah. Do you think Yaz and the Doctor will become a couple? I'm not a big fan of the Doctor and romance, to be honest, and I do feel like right now it's very one-sided on Yaz's side, if at all. Um, so personally, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm not saying it's not. Um, would it be a one-way quash? Yeah, I think it might be like a one-way kind of situation. Uh, and yeah, it's still unconfirmed as to whether Jodie's leading or not. And to be honest, it gets rumoured three times a year, so I'm not going to believe it until it comes out of Jodie's mouth. Especially because she said like two weeks before that latest report how much she's loving the job, and she's not thinking of leaving anytime soon. I, I don't know, I'd be surprised. Not like, oh my god, I can't believe she's left so soon, because it would be like her third series. A lot of, a lot of actors have left after three. Um, but there isn't actually like confirmed definite reports that 
people are leaving. And if people have reported that, um, watch Mr. Tardis reviews his YouTube channel, Mr. Tardis, um, where he's shown how all these people have had a zero percent um, success rate in what they've reported being true about Doctor Who stuff. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. So thank you all for joining me. Um, I need to come off of this actually to. Uh, end of the stream but yeah this was a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed me not remembering how phone numbers work when you type them into phones shows you how often i call people doesn't it please text me if um you know me and have my number if you don't know me and you have my number please don't text me because that's creepy um but either way i really enjoyed this it was a lot of fun hope you enjoyed um check it out for yourself let me know if you enjoy it when you get around to it if you ever do and yeah i will see you guys very soon bye <laughs> Thank you.